besties welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video if you're new here welcome I'm so glad to see you my name is Kate and in today's video I want to share with you the best summer perfumes ever I didn't want to make this video the best summer fragrances of 2023 I feel like I just want to share with you the best of the best my loyal friends my ride or dies fragrances that I always love to reach for fragrances that I always love to smell on myself or on other people fragrances that always make me feel a certain type of way that will transport me somewhere that just make my summer special and just make me feel like I'm living my best life because that's what summer is all about I have freshies I have clean fragrances interesting fragrances I have unique fragrances feminine pretty fragrances I have sexy super show-stopping fragrances for you I am sure you will find something for yourself in this video so if that sounds like your cup of tea please continue to watch let's start with Ball the Freak from Byredo this is one of my all-time favorite citrusy fragrances and let me tell you why not only are you getting this beautiful sunny burst of freshness there is Amalfi lemon and bergamot but also there are these unique tropical florals such as African orange flower and Taja teas that are so addictive and blend so seamlessly with the powderiness of violet and the dry woody base dominated by the most beautiful vetiver note. It's honestly everything I want in my citrusy fragrance. I know this fragrance was inspired by the life in Paris in the 1920s and the African culture and I can definitely see why because it's a very aromatic, complex, dynamic composition that I just love to wear in the summertime because it really kind of reminds me of summer. It reminds me of that energy. It always makes me feel very chic but it's definitely one of those fragrances that are more private they're more intimate like don't expect to see the wow reaction from people like when you enter the room people are not going to be like wow what are you wearing because it sits closer to the skin but it is beautiful it's it's just it's just a beautiful beautiful composition and i highly highly recommend ball the freak for the summertime moving on to the house of Guerlain, we have mandarin basilic from the aqua allegoria line I really wanted to put my beloved coconut fizz, but it's gotten discontinued and it is a part of the same line. But it is such a gorgeous summer scent. If any of you can somehow find coconut fizz, I'll put the picture up here for you. It's a gorgeous coconut scent that smells very natural and realistic. Just like every single one of them from this line, they all smell very natural and I love that about this collection. So Mandarin Basilic in particular smells like, to put it very simply for you, it smells like the most luxurious juice garnished with basil leaves served in the most like fancy and expensive glass very refreshing very aromatic there is this interesting bitterness that comes from basil but it doesn't add any like herbal grassy green you know experience not at all overall it's a very juicy almost like mouth-watering experience imagine you have the most beautiful juicy ripe mandarin and you just bite into it and it's just dripping all over your face you don't care because you love it so much that's exactly how i feel imagine it's scorching hot outside and you just need something you know juicy something something refreshing and you just bite into it that's how it makes me feel in the summertime and i love how guerlain made it smell very elevated for a citrusy fragrance because it is a very citrusy you know juicy experience but it's elevated it smells expensive it doesn't smell basic it doesn't smell cheap whatsoever it smells very very elegant and i love it another fragrance that's a classic or a staple in my summer perfume wardrobe is a fragrance from the house of hermes and it's called eau de rhubarb ecarlate ecarlate i'm probably butchering the name but you get the point it looks like this beautiful red juicy bottle what it looks like it's how it smells it's sweet it's tart it's juicy it's crisp there is rhubarb red berries and musk so it smells very clean sweet and sour that's it it smells like the most realistic yummy rhubarb cake that i used to love to eat as a kid i mean i still do i still 
love rhubarb so much to this day and i feel like that's why i tie a lot of great memories with the scent because it does remind me of my childhood those carefree happy days no worries in the world it just smells so unique for a designer launch this is audi cologne by the way so it's not gonna be projecting too much don't expect too much from it it sits closer to the skin but i definitely do not mind reapplying throughout the day but at least you know you smell clean you smell crisp you smell very unique and interesting when i wear it i just feel effervescent and a little bit more unique because well technically rhubarb is not a note that i get to smell everywhere you know it's not a common note that you are acquainted with or familiar with uh, as much so i definitely do reach for this one when i just feel like i want to smell a little bit different a little bit clean, a little bit crisp, a little bit sweet, sour, something different, you know? So it, I don't know, it just makes me happy and effervescent. And I really, really love to wear this one in the summertime. Speaking of rhubarb, I had to. I know I've already talked about her so much on my channel, but how can I not include her in this video? She is my ride or die. I cannot imagine summertime without her. That's why I brought her all the way to Poland so I can enjoy life with her. You know, she is just beautiful. It's rhubarb, it's lychee, peony, it's soft florals, it's incense, vanilla, woody base. It's everything I love. In a feminine fragrance she's unique she's soft she's uplifting she's zesty tart singy sparkling that tart almost like sour opening it captivates you it really draws you in and draws all the attention to her okay and then you get to experience these soft florals you get to smell the most beautiful rose that's soft and light and pink and watery. It's not going to be your mature, dark, dusty, deep rose. None of that. And then the creamy incense with the vanilla and woodsy base. Oh, I just love her so much. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like a broken record, but I just had to include her in this video. So yeah, that was Delina from Far From Star Marley. I don't want to talk too much about her because you already know how much I love her. Let's just move on. Okay, now we have to move on to the Beast episode, okay? We have to talk about Hachibat from Nishane. I think I've already talked about this fragrance in one of my recent videos. If you haven't watched that, I'm just gonna leave you a link up here. Or up here. Nishane's Hachibat is one of those fragrances that I love to reach for in the summertime when I want to know that I'm gonna smell good for a long time. This is a beast and when I say a beast I really mean that because I've never encountered a citrusy, woody, mossy fragrance that would last on my skin for more than 26 hours. Usually I gauge fresh citrusy fragrances with let's say four to six our longevity no more than that this can triple it okay this can last and last and last honestly until you bathe thoroughly it's gonna sit on your skin and you just have to really rub it off it's one of those fragrances that's just gonna cling on your skin clothes hair like crazy so what you're getting here is this pineapple note in the opening grapefruit and bergamot so very very citrusy you know tart experience and then you have jasmine and then down the base you have this earthy mossy patchouli so you have to be into your earthy base because it is very very dry and woody and mossy but that's what i love about this fragrance because i know when it's 100 degrees outside with the highest humidity this one's gonna last and last and last it's an incredible performer it's a screamer for sure you do not need more than two three sprays honestly once i did five sprays and that was game over for me i know that from now on you just have to go very light on the trigger other than that it's a beautiful summer scent very unisex it doesn't lean masculine nor does it lean feminine at least to me and my nose up next we have an oldie but goodie for sure and that is chanel chance 
Autant. A fragrance that I really love to wear myself, but I also really enjoy smelling on other people. To me, this is a very soft, feminine, and classy, kind of sexy scent. For some reason, people really enjoy to smell it on me, and they, in general, are drawn to this fruity floral DNA. So I would consider this one of the safest blind buys because it's very traditional and i'm quite surprised i enjoy it so much because of that traditional vibe that it has but to me it's really elegant very classy i love to wear it pretty much all year round but i feel like in the warmer months the quince note really really kind of comes through and shines a little bit more and smells very clean. Other than that, I get a very fruity floral experience. Yeah, I just really, really find this scent to be super versatile, super wearable, inoffensive, very clean, very elegant and classy sexy. Like I said, for some reason, people, especially men, are attracted to the scent. And you know what? This scent smells to me like being around this classy, eloquent, really kind person with a very refreshing mindset. It's make you feel good kind of a scent. Okay. Now let's talk about Mr. Maison Francis Kurjan and his beautiful creation, which is Aqua Universalis Forte. If I were to explain or describe how this fragrance smells, it would be quiet luxury so i see an expensive minimalistic outfit either a pair of white linen pants white crisp shirt something very monochromatic and then obviously no makeup makeup look sleek hair pulled all the way to the back very dainty expensive jewelry pieces or something super chunky elevated a very clean mani pedi like everything has to be very aesthetically pleasing but overall it's a quiet luxury when you know you know that's the vibe i'm getting from the scent you have lemon bergamot in the opening and then you get to experience these soft florals dancing in the background and woodsy bass sounds like nothing spectacular or groundbreaking but you gotta trust me on this mfk is a true master at creating clean crisp and luxurious smelling fragrances and this is definitely one of them i just love how it makes me feel it just makes me feel expensive but in a quiet way okay now we gotta talk about the house of dior and a fragrance that it's very underrated. I don't think anyone really talks about it as much. It's been around for quite some time and that is Escala a Portofino. It reminds me of Italy. To me, this is Italy in the summer. It's citrusy, it's fresh, it's yellow, it has that Mediterranean vibe that I love. It's very, very refreshing when it's scorching hot outside and I want to reach for something just invigorating, effervescent, just refreshing. That's exactly what I love to wear. It's like sipping a glass of lemonade on a hot and sunny day. There is a lemon, there is bergamot, orange blossom, juniper berries, cypress, almonds, a beautiful, beautiful woody base contrasting with this juicy, invigorating opening that I really enjoy to wear in the summertime. The note of galbanum here, by the way, surprisingly adds this nice nice bitterness to the whole composition because usually galbanum doesn't appeal to me but in this case it's very very likable and it actually adds this nice twist to this whole scent i just really really love it i wish people talked about the scent more often because it's pretty pretty underrated we have to talk about a fragrance that holds a special place in my heart because i always wear it in august august is my birthday month so I do attach a lot of beautiful memories with the scent. And that is Soleil Blanc from the house of Tom Ford. This is your perfect vacation slash tropical destination sort of scent that will just make you smell so divine. Or let's say if you live in colder places and you need something that would transport you there, this is your magical tool. It will immediately take you to the beach where you're applying the most luxurious santan lotion and you're just living your best life let's say you're in hawaii and life can't get any better that's just the vibe 
that you get from Soleil Blanc. It's sultry, it's sensual, it's sexy, it's luscious, radiating off of your skin when it warms up. It just becomes this ambery beauty. This is just a divine scent that just... I love. There's pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, tuberose, ylang ylang, jasmine, coconut, amber, tonka bean, and benzoin. In my opinion, it's hard to find coconutty, sunscreeny scents that smell expensive. I know a lot of brands try to achieve that same kind of vibe, but for some reason they never succeed. To me, Soleil Blanc is always on top of the list. Lastly, we have a fragrance for true divas out there. This is a showstopper, okay? It's a screamer. Definitely not something for a faint of heart. You do have to have a lot of balls and confidence to rock this scent because it's one of the strongest, one of the best, one of the most powerful florals I've ever come across. And that is a Chenta Overdose from the house of Zerzhov. And you guys know how much I love this scent. That's why I don't want to go too much into details about it. But I just want to give you guys an idea of what it smells like. So first, first you get this blast of crisp, slightly aldehydic, but super green and like in your face jasmine. So if you're acquainted with this type of jasmine form, you'll fall head over heels with this scent. But if not, I would skip out on this one because it might give you a headache. Then, once it dries down and kind of molds in with your skin, it becomes this slightly vanillic, sweet floral. Slightly powdery, slightly soapy, but still maintaining that green and crisp, sparkling sensation overall. Imagine you're sipping on a glass of champagne you know those bubbles go all the way to the back of your head that's pretty much what you're getting with a chanta over those i hope i made that clear and i hope it makes sense what i've just said anyways it's just a beautiful beautiful fragrance one of the sexiest one of the strongest one of the most opulent fragrances that if you want to make a statement if you just want to enter a room and kill everyone else around you go for it Everyone's gonna be ecstatic. Everyone's gonna be like, who is she? I need to know right now. This is a crazy show-stopping fragrance, but you have to be aware of that, okay? Two, three sprays max and you're good to go. No more than that because you won't enjoy the true beauty of it. No one else will as well. So you don't want to overdo it, okay? If you're an overspray just like me, be mindful of that. And that wraps up our video for today thank you guys so much for tuning in for supporting me and my channel for just being here overall please let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite summer fragrances are fragrances that you love coming back to fragrances that are on your list every single year fragrances that you just gravitate towards and that you just simply cannot live without i am more than happy to know please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions any questions anything you want to share with me please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on instagram i am looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye